My complex explainer. My husband and I operate an oyster grow operation, and the ultimate goal is to come out with some fine choice oysters. I'm not sure if people know what a choice oyster is, but this oyster would not be considered choice, although what would be inside would be exactly the same as an oyster like this. Consider it at a larger size, uh, but nice and round and fairly thick. So these oysters, although they would taste exactly the same, um, are just not what people are looking for in restaurants. So what we try to do is um, operate our grow out system and grow oysters that will become nice big large choice oysters. We start out by um, collecting seed and that is done um, with spat collectors uh, placed in the water. And then once we collect our seed, uh, the seed goes into oyster bags, just like this. Now, um, it varies as to how much you would put in, depending on the size of the seed. So oysters, when you get them, are extremely, they can be extremely tiny, like you might be able to see right here. And that would be seed. So um, obviously more of that could go in a bag like this. Uh, then to grow out these oysters, we place them in the water in uh, cages. I'm going to take you and show you a cage quickly. And this is what the cage looks like. This one is not in the water right now. So uh, the door opens and the cages go inside, or the bags go inside. There are six of them. And then on the end of these cages are tubes on the bottom and there's a hole here. So in the summertime, you put the cover on this and air is inside so the bag will float. It floats upside down in the water because that's optimal feeding is when the cage is floating at the top of the water. In the winter time, you would put the cover on uh, after you filled those plastic tubes with water and you sink them to the bottom. I have a quick explainer video on the oyster grow operation and I will put it on the video here so that you uh, can get a sample of the idea. The ability of the oyster grow system optimizes conditions for continuous feeding and optimal growth. Since the Vexar bags inside the cages are held securely to prevent shaking and sliding, the distribution of the oysters inside the bags remain constant contributing to a higher quality oyster. The cages are flipped over several...